Hi guys, so for today's video, I decided to bring you guys my hair routine. I don't think I've gotten around to show you guys how I actually style my hair with short hair like this. And lately I've switched it up and started adding this little pelito right here. And I just feel like it makes me look a lot more sleek. And I feel like ever since I've been doing my hair like this, a lot of you guys have been asking for a hair tutorial. So that's what we're doing today. I am in a different setup. I don't know if you guys care, but I'm using a different camera. This is more of like my vlogging camera, even though I don't vlog. So if I sound a little different, my bad. If the light keeps going in and out, I'm using natural sunlight. You guys don't care. You guys are here to see my hair. So if you want to see how I get my little wavy waves, let's just get into it. For my hair, I'm going to start off by wetting it a little bit. I don't like wetting my hair too much because if I do like oversaturate my hair, it's going to take a long ass time to dry. And we don't have time for that. But this is just used to kind of like refresh my hair. I'll wake up with my hair kind of just like... So I need a little bit of water to just kind of like... And after that, I like to go in with something with a little bit more for hydration. So this is going to be like the first step after the water. What I've been liking lately is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And this is a mask, but I leave it in. I don't know. I just feel like it hydrates my hair, leaves my hair feeling super soft, nice, healthy, you know. I can't go in straight to like mousse and gel without like a prep or else my scalp gets really itchy and flaky and so I'll go in with this or maybe I've really been liking this one too the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk just anything hydrating whatever you have that you like that works just use that so I'm gonna go in with this one today and I literally just take like the babiest amount not too much with short hair a little bit goes a long way and you just want to kind of like comb it into your hair recently to get like my wave pattern really really like nice and super wavy I've been using a little bit of gel with gel though I don't like to go too ham too crazy because you can get so much flaking with gel I've tried so many gels and they always flake so a little goes a long way don't use too much don't go too gel crazy the one that i've really been liking is the eco styler coconut take a little bit of that and just start running it through the top of my hair like right here and i start off with a little bit because i am gonna add more as i go so after that i'm gonna go in with my mousse i'm using the cantu wave whip curling mousse this is the one that i've really been liking the one that's i feel like is affordable and it works really well on my hair so what i like to do first is take a little bit just to kind of like run it just like i did that gel and what i like to do is kind of like comb this back i don't know if you guys have noticed but Ever since we've gotten a little deep into quarantine, I've been kind of like pulling this back and letting these little baby hairs just kind of like curl. Because I haven't been able to go to the salon and get a haircut, I've just kind of like tamed this hair that's been growing back and just kind of like smoothing this in the back as well. And I have a mirror right here, that's why I'm staring here so you guys can see the hair on this side. After that, you're going to want to take your comb. I literally just start adding the mousse and with the mousse you want to go crazy with it because this is what's going to give you that kind of like slip to help you make those waves. So there's no easy way to explain this other than just flattening out that area. And then, like a wave, it goes like this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see what I'm trying to say, but that's the that's what you want to do to form that in your hair. So I'll show you guys so you can see. So you want to take it out, hold it so it doesn't move, and then in, out again. Hold 
hold it and then take it in like that so you get those waves and you see how there's those white things from the mousse that's okay because that'll go away once it sets once it dries and that's literally all I do I don't do the back because I'm not a hair person I don't I don't have the patience to kind of like just guess where the waves are at and then I take a little bit more of that gel and just right here in this area I comb it so it makes that so it goes out like the other ones but then I comb it behind my ear like that and with whatever's left on my hand from that gel I've started giving this a shape and I've really been liking it lately so I kind of just like curl it curl it upward like that so that's one side done and then the other side is the same Alright, so this is the finished product. This is what my hair looks like after I've set it. So usually I'll kind of like shape my my waves and then I'll wrap it with the scarf or something really tight. That way it kind of like molds your hair, keeps it in place and dries it at the same time. So usually I'll do my hair, wrap it. If I'm going out, I'll do my makeup. That takes about like an hour or two. And by then my hair is ready to roll and it's all set in place flat it's not gonna move it keeps this shape all day if i want to wake up with nice hair i'll just wrap it before i go to sleep oh i have another suggestion too i'm pretty sure you guys have seen these in my videos often and i clip them up with a hairstyle like this i feel like it's a little hard to just kind of like tap your makeup around your hairline and not get makeup in it so usually i'll just kind of like Put it right here and it acts as a shield these are really nice i got them off amazon if i find them i'll link them down below that's pretty much all i have for this video i hope you guys liked it the setup is a little different i'm experimenting i feel like i've been getting into a routine of just filming in my studio which is just like right there in my room but i've been getting in a routine of filming over there and i just want to kind of like switch things up i feel like being stuck in a certain routine kind of just like bores you after a while i'm still gonna be in my studio but i want to alternate bring you guys different content just experiment with like color grading editing if you have any video suggestions anything you want to see from me leave it in the comments down below other than that if you don't already follow me on instagram as always thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye guys